Hey there, it's Rochelle here from Soundscaping Source. I've got one more insight that I've gained from my week of having a sprained ankle. <laughs> um, I told the whole story in another video and I'll link that one below this in case you want to go back and listen. But I wanted a separate video just to talk about universal design. Universal design is something that I've known about a long time from being in the elder care world. Um, these are, are, it's a very broad concept, but in um, architecture and building and interior design, universal design principles are all about making a built environment accessible to as many people as possible, to everybody, right? So whether you are tall or short, whether you use a wheelchair or crutches, whether you have um, really flexible and, and young hands, or if you have arthritis, um, we want to make our built environment as accessible as possible. That's the concept of universal design. Now, my experience over the last week has been how inaccessible, in particular, my own house is. My house, um, every, the main floor of the house is up a set of stairs. And so I can get to the bathrooms and the bedrooms and the kitchen and the living room. Okay, I've been scooting around on my office chair and that's working temporarily. But I have to go downstairs to get to my car. Um, I can't drive my car. Someone else has to drive me. But to get down there, I have to go downstairs. I have to, the laundry room is downstairs. And so it's been really hard for me to do the things that I usually do. Um, the other experience I had was at the doctor's office. I used a wheelchair there, the one that was in their entry area. It happened to be a wider than usual wheelchair. And when we got to the exam room, it would not fit through the doorway. That's not a good thing for a doctor's office to have an exam room doorway that you can't get the wheelchair through. So um, that felt very awkward. It felt like maybe I was doing something wrong, although it had nothing to do with me or with any of the people there. It just had to do with that doorway and that wheelchair and not being able to fit. This is So this has been a lesson for me and why universal design principles are really important. So the next time you are buying a home or buying um, a place for your business or you're doing updates or renovations, consider consulting with somebody about universal design principles so that they can build in these things that will help people who have disabilities now, but also help you when you sprain your ankle <laughs> or you when you develop arthritis or other problems. We're all aging, and so we're all going to be developing um issues with our body and if our environments are built using universal design principles, life will be a lot easier. So that's my shout out to the world, universal design for everybody. If you want to hear more about the lessons I've learned from my sprained ankle, you can click below to watch the video about that. Like, Please like the video if you liked it and comment if you have anything you want to say. That kind of thing helps more people to see these videos. Thank you for tuning in and listening to my story and the things that I've learned while I've been laid up at home for the last week. I hope things are going well for you. I will see you again in another video.